move through the nine regions of the abdomen with superficial palpation and then deep palpation. Superficial palpation elicits tenderness and identifies masses. Palpation pressure should be limited to the light pressure of flexion at the metacarpal phalangeal joint. If tenderness is present, be able to distinguish between tenderness, guarding, rigidity and rebound tenderness. Deep palpation identifies and defines masses. If any masses are identified, examine them so that they can be described later to the examiner. Try to warm your hands before placing them on the abdomen. Winces and tension from cold hands may be misinterpreted as pain. If you find the abdominal muscles to be tense, encourage the patient to relax them. So Dara, I have to put a hand on your tummy now. Are you in pain anywhere? Yeah, it's sore down here, doctor. If the patient reports pain, begin your examination as far away from that area as possible and move slowly towards it. Look at the patient's face. Their facial expression may be a better indicator of their actual pain levels than what they describe to you. Next, palpate for the liver. Take some deep breaths. If a liver edge is felt, note the consistency. The gallbladder is rarely palpable, but if inflamed, tenderness can be elicited by looking for Murphy's sign. Okay, keep going. The spleen is normally impalpable and has to be at least twice its usual size to be palpable. If you do feel a mass, be able to differentiate between an enlarged spleen and an enlarged kidney. Okay, stop breathing deeply now. Next, blot each kidney. If palpable, note the size, regularity and consistency of the kidney. 